<laughs> well, yeah. Oh, what up, guys, and welcome back to another one. Today's uh, video is something that y'all been requesting, and it's something that I've been wanting to show y'all. And it's all about my guns. It's all about all the guns that Bobby has. And y'all have seen most of my guns. You've seen most of my shotguns. You've seen uh, my Franke. Uh, have you seen my Bolt Action 410? Uh, but there's two guns today that I'm really going to concentrate on showing you guys. One of them's really, really, really special to me. And the other one is the Rite, the one that uh, a lot of you guys have been asking about. You're like, Bobby, why haven't you been using your Rite? And I have a good explanation why I haven't been using my Rite. And we'll get to that here in just a bit. But oh my goodness, check it out. The Snowstorm New Ducks Conservation Snow Goose Hoodie. I mean, this thing is bad. It, it's thermal, it's thick, just like our other ones. And she's warm. I will link this bad boy down in the description below if you guys want to pick one up. Go check everything out that we have on the DucksWaterfowl.com website. But let's get back to it here, the Rite. Oh man, Woo. had to come inside. We are extremely, extremely bitter cold outside. I mean, what is the weather right now? Well, yeah, it's freezing drizzle at 22 degrees and it actually feels like 10 with the wind chill. That's why it's freezing outside, people. Yeah, I couldn't bear it. I was like, yeah, we're gonna do this whole video outside. And then I was like, yeah, maybe not. So getting to it here, the first thing on the agenda is I wanna show you a couple things on my Rite shotgun. Now, a lot of you have been asking, Bobby, why haven't you been using your Rite? And there's no in particular reason. Um, it's a new gun. I really, I really like this gun a lot. The reason why I haven't been using it much, guys, is I'm just comfortable. I'm comfortable with the feel of my Franke. I've been using it forever, and honestly, there's not much difference between the feel of this gun and my Franke. To, Franke, to be quite honest, sir, they are a lot alike, and I mean a lot. It's a very slender gun, just like my Franke. I'm a big slender guy. I like slender, very tight. I like the more slender it can be. See how thin that gun is? I mean, it's very, very thin. The more slender it can be, the more I like it. Put it that way. But what's really, really cool is right by the safety, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little button right here. If you push it, the whole trigger system just drops out of that bad boy. You don't have to take any pins out, and it falls back in there. So, yeah, how cool is that? Press the button. Boom. So yeah, guys, that is uh, pretty pretty darn handy. That's one thing about this, you can get it cleaned uh, really well, really quickly. It strips down extremely fast. One thing about this Rite I really like. So uh, be expecting me to use the Rite a lot more. I really like this gun. It's a very clean, very light, nimble gun. And you gotta love that extended large uh, discharge handle there. I really wanted to show you that trigger system on that bad boy. But why I made this video and what this video is all about is I want to show you guys my arsenal. As I get a new gun, I'm going to show you the new gun and my oldest guns. I haven't got to show you them all yet. And this one right here is my most prized possession that I have. This is a Marlin Papoose. Yes, a Marlin Papoose. And right here it looks really big. But look how small that this little bitty gun is. Look how small that case is. It's all right here in the case. And what's in here is a 22 long rifle. That's exactly what's in here. And this little case allows you to break it down uh, to make it more travel oriented, more packable if you're hiking, and uh, just really neat. So check that out. It all fits in this little case. And let me tell you, this is a very old gun. This gun was handed down to me from a couple generations. So really, really neat 22. And I've been wanting to show you guys this. So. So this is how it stores in the bag, the barrel's off of it, and I want to show you guys how you actually throw this barrel on. It is really cool. So the end right here, the pass that bolt, where the barrel fits on, that is threaded. So, so what you do here is you just slide this barrel on in there, and it seats down in there, and then this cap, you screw down, and it's basically just like uh, where your plug is in your gun, in your tube, in your shotgun, basically the same thing, it just snugs down. And there you go, look at that little guy. How freaking cool is that little dude? <laughs> clip just drops out, it's got like a 10 round clip. I'm thinking we need to go do some hunting with this. If you guys have any suggestions what type of hunting I should do with my little 22 papoose, 
tell me. You gotta drop a comment down below. You gotta be like, Bobby, I really wanna see, you know, just go do some simple target shooting. Or if you want me to go hunt with this bad boy, you gotta let me know down below. Oh, and then, just for safety measures, before you actually do hunt, uh, hunt with this or shoot it, comes with a cool little, little tool that you uh, get to snug, snug that barrel down. So, now she's tight and she is ready to shoot. How cool is that little guy right there? So, the reason why I haven't got to show you this gun until now is because my parents had a hold of it. Um, I've moved a few times, you know, in my 20s, and, and I, a lot of my stuff, my sacred stuff, that meant a lot to me. I was like, hey, you know, put this in your guys' safe until I get situated. Like I am today with wife and kids and my own safe in my own house. So, I actually got this back from them, I don't know, a few months ago, and, and I brought it home, and I pulled it out of the case, and I put it together, and it just brought back so many childhood memories. I mean... Look how small this itty bitty gun is. <laughs> it is so cool, man. But I know this isn't like the most exciting video that you've ever seen me do by no means, but you know, it's freezing cold out and I'm gonna be going on a big hunt tomorrow and I didn't wanna leave you guys high and dry without a video and I've really been wanting to share this little papoose with y'all. This is called, again, a Marlin Papoose. And this thing, I have taken such good care of it, not only me, but my stepdad, my grandpa, this was their gun. And, I mean, it is in beautiful, I mean, beautiful shape. It's like, brand, literally almost brand new. The barrel is like, literally, the bluing is still perfect. It's one of my prized possessions when it comes to guns. It's like, it's not uh, the most expensive gun that you've ever seen. It's not the most wanted gun, but I like unique things. As y'all as y'all can probably tell, Bobby likes unique things. It doesn't have to be the most expensive. Just like uh, pigeon hunting. One of the reasons why I like pigeon hunting so much is because it's unique. Like, who pigeon hunts? There's not many people that pigeon hunt. And when you do, you find out how unique it really is and how and how small it really is it's not big and broad like like waterfowl hunting and everybody doesn't do it so um, I really like unique stuff and this little gun here I figured that you guys would would enjoy seeing too because I'm sure I'm positive a lot of a lot of you out there have probably never seen this gun but guys if you have seen this gun you gotta drop me a comment down below if you guys have ever owned one or if you do own one I'd like to hear from you guys like are these more common than I think? Did more people my age and older have these when they were growing up a lot more than I think? Or are these just, like I said, pretty unique and kind of rare? But guys, you gotta let me know down in the comment section below if you've ever owned one and how unique are these little 22s because I love this little Marlin Papoose. Can't wait to do a hunt with it either. Oh, but you guys know that I love building the community that we are building here on the channel. And the community really consists down below in the comments. I mean, you all know how uh, there can be good threads of comments where people are getting along and saying, hey, yeah, this, this, and this. And there's other threads of comments where people are just basically complaining and people getting a royal rumble down in the comment section below. We don't really like that. But I do like building the community that we are. And y'all got to let me know, what was your first, first ever gun? It doesn't have to be a shotgun. What was your first ever gun that you had as a kid, as a young adolescent, as an adult? Let me know down below. I, I'm really curious because it's just cool to see how and where and what all people had when they started out. But like always, I like letting you guys into my life as much as I can and showing you these things that I've had around forever like these guns. Uh, I still have some other guns that I haven't even showed you guys. That's what I like to do. I like to let you into my life and, and just let you know a little bit more about Bobby when I can. When we're not getting after the birds and sitting freezing our butts off in the field. When we're here at home, I like to do videos just like this for y'all and uh, generate some comments down below and get some conversation started. What else are you going to do when it's this cold out? But, like always, any videos you guys want to see me do, you need to leave a comment down below and let me know. And if you like this video, give your boy a big ol' thumbs up. But, guys, like I said, we do have the thermal, the thick, the warm, Snowstorm Snow Goose Conservation hoodies available. I will link these bad boys down in the description below, just in case you didn't hear me say it the first time. But thank you all for being here. I hope you guys enjoy these little bitty videos like I do. 
and subscribe if you haven't. We will see you on the next one, guys. Peace.